What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, and we are continuing with our What If Season 2 episode reactions. We are at the end point. Only two episodes left for us to react to, and this one is a special one. What if the Avengers assembled in 1602? Crazy. Yeah. I heard great things about this one. Even the voice cast. I uh, think I've seen only one name, but I'm gonna. I'm still not going to look at it. Uh, so I want to be surprised, but heard of some familiar faces that are voicing these these characters. So you might see it in it if you don't like cover your eyes. But nonetheless, what if season two has been such a treat to watch? It's what if is my favorite Disney Plus show. It's just really great. I love the ideas of what they are like, what they're accomplish co accomplishing in animation, and the future ideas that have yet. Have we have yet to see? Uh, we have a season three to look forward to. So that came out of nowhere. We got first look um, with Bucky and Red Guardian. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, I'm just ready to see what the finale. This the the second to last episode in the finale um, is gonna do because in animation next we got the the big heavy hitters with uh, three this year. X Men ninety seven. X Men ninety seven. Spider Man. Spider Man and the Eyes of Wakanda. So. I'm ready to see how that'll affect those other alternate timelines and alternate realities. Because those are like, not even like MCU adjacent. Like that's like those are completely different ideas, I think. Outside of what kind of thing, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's going to have different styles with both. I think all three. So yeah, I'm willing to, waiting to see, especially after Loki, like what does that do for the multiverse? Because it expanded. And basically, Loki is the, the Watcher. I think he's tying in basically the Sacred Timeline. So, right. yeah, it's going to be fun. And, uh, yeah, do you, anything you want to say before we get on with Episode 8? No. I just want to jump right into it. I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm interested to see what the Avengers would have looked like in a different time. You know, because yeah. all we know is, you know, the MCU version, the 2012. So, 1602. Yeah, yeah that's like... Uh, let's get into it, man. Yeah. That, that concept is crazy. Anyways, let's watch episode eight in three, two, one. Not throwing cabbages at him. <laughs> oh, bushel. And That's wrong. definitely him, Mark. <laughs> oh, she's back again. What the heck? Not again. Fury. Captain Carter. Woo! So nice of me to drop in. Lucky you. What is she doing? My queen. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. You speak to me as sorry. My sister is gone. Lost to the storms that are tearing our world apart. The storms of Scarlet Witch summoned you to oh! save me. But they've only grown stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Loki. That's my Yorick. That's Bruh, is she just raw in every timeline? Like, what's going on? The world on the brink of oblivion. The year is 16. He gotta pull up an X Men 97. Uh, he has to. Peggy Carter. But how does a time displaced super soldier end up in such a strangely familiar reality? The sad truth is that there are worlds among the multiverse. Simply meant to die. Days. But every once in a while, a glimmer of hope can emerge. <sighs> oh! The world collapsing in on itself. A band of heroes gathered together to save Bruh. reality. The Scarlet Witch Wanda Maximoff used her powers to reach into a neighboring universe for a warrior, one willing to face impossible odds to save a dying reality that's not her own. A hero like Captain Peggy Carter. Oh, that's how. Okay, so I'm like, how did she end up there? And so, oh, I remember that okay. so far she got yeah. to. I'm like, what is she doing here? When they're desperate to be summoned to save, on the run, with no way home. No way home. <laughs> I was like, Marvel, y'all think y'all slick, man. Y'all think y'all slick. Well, I mean, sometimes. It's so funny. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, you do know. Impressive. But if I don't find a way to unstick these time periods. This universe will She is aware. Hmm. What's that for? I'm 
going to take you back to your universe. You can't intervene, bro. Intervene. I'm not leaving. Worlds die every day. I've watched millions fade from existence. Jesus. Dang. Well, not on my watch. Honestly, what you gonna do? Nothing. Like, it's the whole Secret Wars thing. Like, some of them are just like, they just got to fight. Growing but and they don't even realize. Across the globe while I'm on this throne. I want Thor looked the rawest to, to me. Because this is his time. Yeah. yeah. But really? I still believe she is the key to our survival. For I sense there is another. Yeah, that's Elizabeth. Yeah. That <laughs> is still to come. Arr, poppy. Bird, Falcon, Iron Man. Stark! Oh, okay. Oh, what? Uh, Morning, Tony. Five more minutes. Bro, whoever Are this dude is, I need to look at his, his name. Man. Josh Keaton? No. <laughs> I, I don't believe that's Josh Keaton because he don't even sound like that. But my point is, whoever is voicing Tony Stark in this universe is doing an amazing job. I feel like it's already yes. Jet. A thousand ships. I doubt our new king will let me borrow his scepter. Well then, sounds like you need a thief to help you steal it. What do you have in mind? Enter. Will has written it's like Dungeons and Dragons. Man. I know who it is. Who is this? Loki. Thief. Ant Man. It's gotta be Ant Man. Yes. Hawkeye. Wait, what? Oh. It's like Robin Hood. Is that Steve? Good morrow, Prince Loki. Your carriage looks like. Ah. Oh, that's great. Is this Robin Hood? Yeah. <laughs> Rogers Hood. <laughs> Whoa, what treasure is this? Victoria Sponge? Pineapple Ant Man. Marzipan. Fuck, they got Marzipan. That's definitely Paul Rudd. Freaking Bucky. You are. Ooh, this must be some trickery or a ghost. This man had the Infinity War hair in 1602. I'm dead as well. It's like holding this together. Hi. Hi. Um, sorry. Is there some place we can talk? I swear, yeah. I can explain everything. Have you guys tried these declares? They're amazing. <laughs> In your world, is there another Steve Rogers? Infinite. Yes. Tell me what he's like. No, I... I don't think I will. Will you help me? The I'm writing. Not, I'm not really happy, the mother, writing. I want to save this world, too. Hmm. Bruh. What is that? <laughs> oh no. Man, we've got company. Whoa. <laughs> what the? Someone from the secret tree house. Oh, the yellow jackets. Oh, the yellow jackets. Oh, wow. That's tight. God, I would like this reality is is tight. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Shield. At Bravo. Golf play. Shit, oh, bro. Fuck you. Hey. Wait, did he just turn into the Hulk? Oh. Get washed. Oh. Yeah, like, to the dark side. <laughs> bro, I got a personal what agenda this, against man? Stark. Is what if? Oh, what the? Wait, <laughs> <laughs> this is what this is what I be saying, man. Like, what? <laughs> what? what? Are you watching? Basically, your brain cannot destroys this universe. comprehend the vast the universe. Resets. You're trapped here forever. The uni the universe <sighs> resets. I have to try. They are telling us what's gonna happen. Because I saw Happy's face. Wait, what? what? It's quiet in the cell. Why he look like Doom right there? Nah, he looked like. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Absolutely right about that Doom. <laughs> he got a little. And his face all metal. Like, what you do? Nah, that's the whole. Ah. It's time. What, what y'all put thought putting him in here was gonna do? Good luck. Oh, that's over with. 
Yeah, well, he got long hair, bruh. R.I.P. Jesus, dude. Where was the whole week? There you go. I know, buddy. Peggy will fix it. Best invention ever. A PC? Ignore that. It's decorative. You're stuck. Storm of the castle is kind of our thing. Steve. Oh, lady. Sorry we're late. But I did manage to wrestle this from some palace guards on the way over. I thought you might need it. Touching would have gone to the sonnet personally. What's the plan? What? What is the rift? It's here. Hey. What? What's here? What are you on? Another tag. Come for us. Oh, it's ah. that's the incursion. Yeah, she can only do so much though, bruh. So we see a green form, but then you gotta remember when the universe is like What's turned like to black blue. Know it when we saw it. The incursions, man. <laughs> bruh, what? Hey. Man, I love to swashbuckle. <laughs> oh, jeez. Where's the hammer I got you? I have misplaced it. <laughs> got the arm guards. Hood. Care to try your luck? Taste my steel, you wild trusty onion. I treat like a miscreant. Can you face your own face? This animation. What is happening? Oh. Sir Hogan? I am so Sir Hogan. Oh, great job, Rogers. You made a match. I told bro, I'm telling you, bro, he the Hulk, bro. I told you. Oh, uh, what? Oh, it's vibranium. Current huh? gift from the king of Wakanda. He too has been plagued by these rips in space. Oh damn, bro, it's a child uh, or right, man. A little trouble of my own. Oh father. Give me a break. You're more of a drama queen than your brother. Bless. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh I like this fight. Sheesh. Next time, no hope. Whoa! I surrender. What you gonna do, start? Perfect time. Let's get. Oh, you better hurry up, cause he over here. Bro, we got to see Peak Thor again. What's going? Time loop, so she just froze time. It's him, the forerunner. What? What? Oh, Steve, he's the future man. That's impossible. What? But how? I, I remember a battle. We were fighting a monster. Oh! Love. I went to strike with my shield and. Hit one of the stones instead. Oh, no I knew this was the. <laughs> oh my, bro, they different. We never get a happy ending. Never, never. Bye. I'm sure somewhere out there. Yeah, but do. not this one. It's bigger things to worry about. This man, Steve's legit soul. So is he gonna go back to 2018? I know I've said this in every episode reaction show, but this is the best one. <laughs> they keep topping themselves. I just thought you could use a friend. <gasps> Strange. What so he recruiting the Multiversal Avengers again. Peg, have I got a story to tell you. Like, what's the story though? Like, what's going on? Thank y'all for this amazing storytelling to the VFX artists, to these writers, to these producers, to Kevin Feige himself. What is this? I don't even want to look. 
I'm not I'm not hard to please. I don't <laughs> listen, if you if you if again, if I know what the context of the story is, um not everything's gonna be the greatest thing in the world. I know that, but listen, I wanna be entertained. So I'm being entertained and I'm getting good writing and good concepts, storytelling all in one. So like I said, this is why What If is my favorite Disney Plus Marvel show because um that was fire. It's telling a story. Every you you see, you notice how with each episode we strand further and further away from the Infinity Saga, right? Because what is season three gonna be about? We don't. Know. Oh, that's just. I don't. You know, There's I can't a, even theorize with that. But nonetheless, again, seeing I think Elizabeth Olsen was the best voice actor in that. that. It didn't even sound like her, but it sounded like her. If that makes sense, like it sounded like she wasn't trying. Oh, well, yeah. Like, her and Hiddleston and me were, like, just, I felt like those were the best voice actors in that episode. But Thor was on, he was he was doing his worked, thing. Yeah, that man. Um, I just like what he was doing. And I see what they try to do with Captain Carter. My theory is that they making her, like, the, essentially the face of the animation mm-hmm. side. Um, I could be wrong, but I, I believe that. I think that's why you see it in a lot of episodes. But she's just... Again, man, she's raw like that. She remi- this reminds me of like Ahsoka, like how when Star Wars put Ahsoka on the map with the animation, and she was like basically that. So I'm just happy to see, man, just again, these ideas, bro. He came from Infinity War and was the futurist for- forerunner or whatever I they call it. Somebody timestamp when I mentioned that. I called that. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I put it, yeah. <laughs> I called that. I was like, that man looked too similar to the Steve I know from 2018, man. So, bruh, this is what... So, now when, when Don't Let Him Close His Fist has so much, like, um, imp- like impact because, like, when Dr. Strange, you don't let him close his fist. Right. Anything could have happened, bro. I Something think that's what that, these, this was it. Because when he was seeing one those, of those alternate realities, bro, this is probably one of the realities. No, like, that I was, believe this is, yeah. What if is what those... 14,605. This one of them 14 million. Cuz they say they say in canon he the multiverse didn't get uh opened until Loki and Sylvie did their thing in the end game, but part of me thinks like Strange already put them in an alternate timeline because of like how he was looking at the alternate futures and put them in the only one that they want. Cuz they could have lost like many different So how do you you put the 604 times? How do you just <laughs> one timeline just Oh, this is supposed to happen. I don't now going, going off this. I don't believe that, cause Strange put them in that scenario, which in, in in like context means like he put them in another reality, I don't or another that. situation to make another reality. Cause in what if one change affects the rest? Cause if 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 like I said, don't let him close his fist. If that if he let him close his fist, they in another reality. In hindsight, because when we go off, the, but okay, I see what you're saying. You see what I'm saying? But because they say in the, the the TVA said like, yeah, that was supposed to happen, but then the TVA lied about everything, and then Kang's like, I don't really know what really went down, because I right. paved the road. So, but when you looking at the time, Kang was like, I paved the road. He was he already saw the end point. The end point wasn't. We don't know what the end point is yet. See what I'm saying? Because end game wasn't the end point. Right. Because if from Endgame was the end point, he's like, yeah, that was supposed to happen. But we still getting other projects. That don't make sense. So either everything was supposed to happen the way it was until Loki and Sylvie went down. Or Doctor Strange put them in another reality. And we've been watching the multiverse unfold since Infinity War. Like, that was the true beginning of the multiverse. So, right. but I don't want to, like, mess y'all up with that. Because, I, you know, I overthink that, you know, situa- that stuff like that. But when they put that in the writing... It's hard to not overthink it because it's literally like it's insane how they do it, but um, dude, this show man, oh man, I can't wait to watch it for now. Do you have anything else to say before we? we... I just said all I needed to say. This that that great. man, whoo, <laughs> fire! This multi, this yeah, I love the. Mo- I told you, man. I told you back in like 2018. This is where they need to go. A lot of people still don't get it, and I'm not, you know. Um, I don't want to be like a person that's like, you can tell people what they like or what they don't like, but man, you could just tell, in my opinion, I feel like a lot of people still are questioning what the multiverse is, 
and it, it I think the more we get into it, the more people like understand like these universes, yeah, they are finite, but they are infinite, which means they aren't finite, if that makes sense. There are so many possibilities. And essentially what we've been watching with the Marvel and DC properties, we've been watching the multiverse the entire time because there are different actors that portray these characters. So mm -hmm. I don't understand how you cannot understand the multiverse when you've been basically following the multiverse structure this entire time you've been watching comic well, book properties. I mean, don't I wouldn't necessarily say that. A lot of people still are, you know, they only know one timeline and one story. Like, but the that, concept of the multiverse is not... Unless you a nerd, a comic book nerd, if we, like, but we the get, general population, I feel like, you know about the multiverse because of comic books, because of storylines, because of animation movies. I mean, yeah, movies and shows. Not everybody... Every live-action superhero IP that we have received up until this multiverse saga has never been a multiverse story. No, what I'm saying so is... So you can't blame somebody for not... Being but aware. we accepted No Way Home with like that. Well, and that it, was just come because on, of... No, I disagree. Because if audiences literally in a pandemic went out their way to go see a... Sp the story was great and it had to... There was no way... You know what I'm saying? Like, anybody going to spend their money to see three Spider-Man. But why is it complaints... Here's my thing. Why is it complaints when it's only something you want... You, like you don't want to see? Versus, you just answered your question. You see what I'm saying? Like, don't don't <laughs> don't say you like the multiverse when Toby Andrew and them come in, and then Hugh Jackman, and then be like, I don't understand it when a show like this explains it better. In my opinion, just, that's just my opinion. You just answered your question. So yeah, I just feel like people are just it's selective selective enjoyment. anger. Yeah. yeah, it's like how you don't understand it when you. I'm you all can accept in for multiple it. Batman, you know. But, They're not gonna be happy with the other multiverse stuff that Marvel Studios is about to do. But guess what? Yeah, that's whatever. I that am. was just my thing. Like I'm just like, kind of like they may they may bring Wesley Snipes back as Blade, yeah. and he may interact with Wes, uh, Mahershala. Guess what I'm gonna do? Scream <laughs> to the top. More of the story. Line. Marvel Studios is doing multiverse better than anybody, in my opinion. Without question. Um, anybody yeah. think otherwise? I'm, I'm sorry. We're not about to do that. I just think they're doing a great job. That's all I wanted to say. But I just wanted to get that off my chest. Like, I think the storyline is perfect so far, but. This is great. Episode 9 is on the way. Stay tuned. Let's know in the comments, guys, what you guys thought about this uh, episode 8. This was my favorite episode thus far. I know I've said that in other episode reactions, but yeah, this is the one. You know, they really, they, they hit the ground running with this one. We only got one more episode left. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. Once again, I'm Ish. I'm Zip. And we'll see you guys in the next video. God bless. Peace.